my india mind of india 3 2 1 now defense research and development organization drdo primarily works on the cutting edge technologies required for the armed forces of the country we have been working in the development of aerospace composites for the past many years and we have many scientists in the background of chemical engineering and chemistry they work in the development of lot of polymers and materials which are needed for the composites while developing the defense technologies there are many spin off technologies which are useful for the society many of these technologies have been transferred for the human kind applications the scientists who are working on the missile technologies on various materials which are required for these applications have found a spin off of making a biodegradable bag Presently, we have a major problem on that: the plastics and polyethylene bags and water bottles, which are creating a lot of problems to the both humankind and other beings on the earth. We, being scientists, we felt that we want to go for alternate solution to give to society. That solution should be low cost, and second thing, it should degradable within uh, 90 days. even if they are consumed by the animals or fish or any any living being they will not be hazardous they will not create any hazard to the human beings such a novel idea they have given i am basically man of physics i did my phd in material science after joining in dia dia worked on composite structures aerospace structures so we have the idea of polymer engineering and polymer science that is the reason i could able to see some solution related to biopolymers we have one habit we'll carry food in carry bag then after that uh, we'll eat food then we, whatever leftover food we'll put inside the bag then we'll throw it so there is animals what they do they are in hunger they will try to eat so they cannot remove the food and they cannot eat because of hunger entire bag they will eat as it is they will swallow it so that is causing the death of animals i approached our director because as a social responsibility we being scientists we felt that we want to go for alternate solution to give to society dr veera brahmam and dr padana brahmam we have been working in the polymer development they are with chemistry background and they approached me one day they have given a innovative novel idea for giving an alternative material for the polyethylene bags and the moment i heard from them i thought it is a very innovative idea i was attracted then our secretary drdo has immediately accepted this and go ahead for doing r and d activities our solution contains polybutylene adipate terephthalate this is one of the biopolymer and we have starch corn starch especially we are using and some additives we are using these uh, materials we mixed and we made granules in biodegradable bag development we have carried out various uh, qa aspects to develop the material in uh, raw material stage we carried out visual contamination and particle size uh, analyzation viscosity melt flow index we carried out then after that uh, with the extruder uh, for making granules we carried out the extruder time temperature output taken to make the granules the advantage of this technology compared to worldwide technologies this all raw materials except to pibat is available in our country huge very huge quantity corn starch only why we have selected is in india corn is abundantly available that's the reason we have selected corn starch 
as one of the major ingredient for making this uh, carry bag for our applications. The polyethylene bags which are made out of petroleum products, they take about two to three hundred years uh, for getting into the soil. Whereas the alternative what they have given to me. Basically they wanted to develop this polyethylene bags from the starch. And uh, this starch material, it is highly friendly to the, like, the ecosystem. So normal carry bag is a single use application. For a single use product, there is a no need for uh, 200 years of life. That's why what I did is, we have given only 90 days. When we keep in ambient, the bacterial activity will start uh, after 60 to 80 days. Then it starts degrading and break into small pieces. The beauty of this uh, technology is, you can take this carry bag, along with the food waste, you can throw it. Because food waste contains a lot of bacteria, along with that bacteria, this bag also will undergo bacterial activity and it will degrade. If not, you take this bag, break into small pieces, just put at the plants. After 90 days, it will become into manual. Then we thought of that we can go for another solution, which is water soluble. If you just drop in water, it will easily dissolve within 40 minutes, within one hour, within one minute. We have given different time periods of the thing. Even fishes or something, if they eat also, nothing will happen to that because it is a combination of food graded materials. And while producing the bags also, they don't produce any polluting gases. And uh, while they are using, being used by the human beings, they are highly eco-friendly. Then I have approached uh, five to ten uh, companies. I have this solution with me. Can you just uh, uh, support us for uh, making this carry bag? Then everybody laughed at me, seeing that, sir, nowadays uh, plastic carry bags are penetrated in the society like anything. Now you are giving biodegradable solution. Who will take nowadays? Nobody will take. In India, it is not possible. Then I found uh, one company at uh, near in Hyderabad, Cherlopalli. That's uh, Ecolastic Products Private Limited. They have voluntarily, they have come at me. We are ready to support you for all uh, machine renewability trials and everything on free of cost. So we did not pay even single pie. When I am doing this, I faced one more point. Is the present existing equipment with small minor changes itself. If we are able to produce this biodegradable bag, then MSMEs may not suffer. That's the reason, whatever the machinery they are using for polyethylene bag production, same machinery, we made it with small minor changes to produce these biodegradable bags. The production comprises of two parts, making raw material and conversion to the end product using the same raw material. For the raw material, we use granulating machine that comprises of twin screw extruders and feeders. In feeders, we set the pre-required -re pre uh, ratios, which has been feeded to the twin screw extruder. The end product is passed through this in the strands form in the conveyor with the dry air cooling. Since this is a compostable material, we cannot take it to underwater pelletizations. This passes through the pelletizer as in the time to run till the conveyor belt, it cools down and that has been taken to the pelletizer. Pelletizer cuts it in the small pellets. These pellets are fed into the, for the end product that is in the three machines that is blowing, printing and cutting. The blowing machine is fed with the raw material which blows the film into different sizes and different thickness. Then that particular rolls made from the blown film are being put into the printing machines and that printing has been done as per the customer requirement. And from printing machine, it goes through the cutting machine. The cutting machine in the end converts the film into the desired shapes of the bag. I think they spent about months, months of the time in doing a lot of iterations whatever the formulations they were doing, then they have to produce the bag and this bag should be durable. We should be able to carry the weight and whatever the Indian standards or international standards say, all the standard property requirements they have to meet. And finally, with certain formulation, they could achieve the properties which are equivalent. Equivalent and certain times it is better than polyethylene bags and then we produced the bags and then we were looking for how do we launch it. 
our intention is that we want to somehow penetrate this technology to rural india because nowadays in rural india if you see lot of ponds everywhere plastic carry bags water bottles are flooding up like anything so rural india we had to go means a place which is very well known to all the people of india that we had to select it then in that sequence when we were talking to ttd tirumala tirupati devasthanam because as you know the holy place is the largest consumer for polyethylene bags then when we talked to them we explained about this product they were very happy they immediately they have shown lot of keenness and then eco elastics they have opened a stall in ttd and the it became very very famous as we started distributing the bags to the devotees then they have immediately accepted they told that we will give first initially for distribution of this prasadam bags their response is very good because they are very keen about implementation of green hills in tirumala tirupati the intention of that is we have got very good publicity so that people coming from india they will go across the villages so they will also come to know that they will also aware that they have an alternate solution to the polyethylene bag that's the idea behind this and now it is going to enter into many other places many other temples our chairman dio asked me can we go for any technology transfer fees means this technology we want to give to industry they have to pay to us we finally felt that since is a societal need for us then we don't want to charge any of the amount now drdo is ready to give this technology on free of cost so this we want to take it everywhere in the country to every district and encourage the youngsters and small scale industries to come up with manufacturing these bags and see that the plastics and polyethylene bags and bottles are completely eliminated with the technology i request all the entrepreneurs in the country to come forward take the technologies from drdo establish the industries produce the bags in large quantities make them available to everyone and thereby save this mother earth my india mind of india